All right, what's going on guys? Uh, so I'm right in the middle of a workout and um, I'm about to do some pull-up improvement for myself. And I thought I would take the opportunity to go ahead and show you guys out there um, a lot of the different techniques that you can start using and implementing into your workout routine um, to improve your pull-ups, whether you're trying to go uh, to Ranger School and be successful, Airborne School, um, SFAS, or if you're just somebody who's trying to increase their pull-ups uh, for whatever reason, these are some techniques that are absolutely gonna make you better and get you to that pull-up uh, max rep range that you're looking for. All these techniques are gonna work whether you're at the beginner level, you're trying to get to your first pull-up, or even if you're trying to get to anywhere between 10 and 20 pull-ups without leaving the bar, all these things are gonna help you get better. So don't blow any of these techniques off. Make sure you're paying attention and implement these at the gym when you go. Make sure you watch this video all the way through because I'm gonna be going over a lot of different exercises and each and every one of them are going to be extremely beneficial as you make your way um, into improving your pull up. All right, remember for you army guys and gals out there, anytime you're being tested on the pull up, it has to be to perfect form. You know, like in ranger school, when you do a pull up, you have to go all the way up over the bar and all the way down and actually hang there for a second or two. And I think it's the same thing in airborne school, if I remember correctly. And the, in, at least at ranger school, the RI will actually stand right in front of you, like right here, as you're doing your pull up, okay? And if you touch him, then that pull up doesn't count, all right? So really focus on form as you're doing all these uh, pull up improvement exercises and especially when you're doing the pull up itself. All right, so first we're gonna start off with the use of a barbell. Um, this is going to replicate what you'd be doing um, when you're actually doing a pull up on the pull up bar, okay? But we're gonna change the levels up so that the challenge level is a little easier you can get more reps in, all right? So this is what it's gonna look like. So if you're at the lowest level, put the barbell off around chest level, go under the bar. And you're just gonna do under the barbell pull ups, just like this. All right? So you can see, even for somebody who can't do pull ups, this is something you can do. And that's a good way to start practicing and gaining your strength so you can get up on the bar. Now, the further you put the barbell down on the rack, the harder the challenge level is gonna be. So now I've got the bar lower. And when I go under the bar, push my feet out, it's even harder. All right? You wanna do slow methodical motions. Really engage the back and the biceps. All right, you wanna be able to do those to about four sets of 10, comfortably resting for about a minute, a minute and a half in between. Once you get that, you should be able to move up to the bar. All right, also what you should start implementing into your routine, this can also be done with the barbell, you can do it with dumbbells, kettlebells, anything, but I want you to start implementing bent over rows, okay, and those look like this. A nice arch back, pull up to your chest, right in between where like the bottom of your chest and the top of your stomach uh, meet. Nice and slow, nice squeeze at the top. And I want you to start off doing that. If you're using a barbell, do it with just the barbell itself. Start off with some low weight till you have good control of the weight that you're using. And then start beefing up the weight and then start challenging yourself, all right? That'll help you get better pull-ups. This is how the bent over row will look with kettlebells. So same thing, just different use of the weight. Now when you're using the barbell, you have to worry less about stability, but when you're using kettlebells or dumbbells, you know, obviously that stability plays and it's gonna come more into play. So like, start off using the barbell and then work your way up to be able to control kettlebells and dumbbells. All right, now another useful tool that I think a lot of people forget about is the use of straps. TRX straps are really good for a lot of different exercises. Um, they're really, it's a really useful tool for those that are like on the go a lot, or if you really want like a, a cheap um, solution for a home gym, you can just get a pair of TRX straps and you're good to go. These specific straps are not TRX straps. They're like a, a TRX knockoff, but they're just as good for like half the price. Um, I get them on Amazon and I'll drop a link to that in the description. If you don't have a set of these, I would recommend getting these because you can bring them with you when you go on your trips or you can, you can put it up in a doorway and, and make them work. These things are awesome, but let me show how you can use 
uh, these to improve your pull-ups. All right, so you got this thing rigged up. Set it to the appropriate level, which isn't hard, but this is set up to me right now. And then you're gonna do the same, same concept as what you did with the barbell, right? So you're gonna lean back and do band rows. Just like this, so this, this is pretty easy for me, but for somebody who's struggling at getting even the one pull-up, this is gonna help you get there. Get to a nice 45 degree angle with the body, keep it straight, and just use your feet as like to, to plant yourself, but all the motion should be done with the hands and squeezing at the back. All right? Now once that, once that becomes just way too easy for you, you can easily um, increase the intensity by moving down. All right, the farther down you go, the harder the pool's gonna be on you. All right? And then eventually you can move all the way down, almost onto your butt, and pull yourself up. Like a real low squat row. And you can see I'm shaking a little bit because this is, this is definitely difficult. You want to get a nice squeeze with these bands, really control yourself. So now we're going to move up to the pull-up bar itself. This is going to be um, uh, a bunch of exercises that are really going to be more geared towards people that can already do a pull-up or a few or even many. Um, but really you want to be able to diversify your pull-up um, exercise arsenal, okay? So obviously you're trying to work up to um, being able to do just a regular pull-up, you know, or many of these. But a good way to help you get better at the regular pull-up is to do different kinds of pull-ups. I'm just going to show you a few other kinds of pull-ups that I think you should be doing to help you get better at the tested pull-up, right? So the first one is going to be the hammer pull-up. You can see here I got this on my, uh, my pull-up bar at home. Um, but you'll be able to see a lot of these kinds of uh, pull-up bar setups at your gyms. Um, the Beaver Fits have them if you're, if you're in the Army and stuff like that. So this is how a hammer pull-up will look. So the grip's going to end up being perpendicular to the bar on how you normally see yourself doing pull-ups. So it's going to look like this. You just pull up, do pull-ups like that. All right, so that's the hammer grip pull-up. Um, you can supplement that by doing uh, hammer grip curls with dumbbells, or sometimes you can find those barbells that have the hammer grips. Um, inside of the smaller barbells, you use those just to do hammer grips, but that's gonna help you out to increase your uh, bicep strength and also to increase your, your uh, pull-up strength overall. All right, another one I want you to work on, and this is gonna be very useful for you Army guys and gals out there, is going to be the commando pull-up, all right? That's going to look like this. It's going to be very similar grip to what you would see um, with the new Army ACFT when you're doing your hanging leg tucks. One hand on top of the other like this, and you're going to pull yourself up to the side. Chin over the bar. Now normally you'd want to kind of alternate that. You're going to do one on the left, one on the right. But if you have a bar like this, or if this is all you have available, it's too easy to do a few on one side and then just move over to the other side of the, of the bar and do the other side. All right, so I want you to work on those. All right, another good one you should be doing is a wide arm grip pull up. All right, so just getting as wide as you can up on the bar and pulling up to the traditional pull up level. So the next method I'm gonna cover is really good for any exercise out there. It's extremely good for the pull up. Um, because you already start with your weight up on the bar, but that's performing the exercise um, as a negative, okay? And what that looks like is you're, you're up on the bar, chin over the bar, and then you slowly release as you make your way down, back to the starting position, okay? So this is how it's gonna look. So no matter how you get up on the bar, it doesn't matter. If you have a hard time even just doing one pull up, you know, just get up over the bar, um, you know, use your, you can jump up over the bar, or you can use a step or whatever, use a buddy, but get over the bar. And then I want you to slowly descend, as slow as you can, in a controlled manner, until you're at a hang again. Now, if you're good at the pull-ups already, you can just continue to do another pull-up all the way up over, and then continue doing a negative. Or if you're somebody who's struggling at pull-ups, you can come all the way back to the bottom, give yourself a little rest, 
and then give yourself a, a push from, from the floor again up over or use a step or whatever you're doing but just continue to do those negatives All right, guys, and then there's other exercises out there that are gonna help you to supplement all this stuff, to help you get better at the pull-ups um, <clears throat> that I'll just briefly talk about real quick. But that's gonna be the uh, lat pull-down machine that you see at the gym. That's that cable machine where you sit down and you pull down the lat bar. Definitely start getting used to doing those. Um, also, you wanna start uh, making sure that you do um, dumbbell curls pretty often. Dumbbell and barbell curls. I know uh, doing the barbell curls and the dumbbell curls seems like a very bro thing to do. You know, you're just working on your arms, but really the pull-up exercise itself is a, a major arm exercise, okay? You are using arm strength when you're doing pull-ups, so you need to make sure you have um, good arm strength in order to be successful with that exercise. But that's it, guys, all those things. Um, make sure you're implementing all these exercises that I've showed you here today, and I promise you, you're gonna start seeing major improvements with your pull-up game, okay? Guaranteed, gritty soldier guarantee. These are the tools that are gonna help you to succeed, but it's up to you to actually do them and get better. So that's Pull Up Improvement 101. If anybody out there has any other suggestions or exercises that they know have worked in the past, work for them, that they think uh, will benefit the community, please, by all means, drop in the comments for everybody. As always, if you have any questions about these things, go ahead and drop that in the comments. And let us know what you guys are working towards. If you're just trying to get better at pull ups or if you're trying to go out there and crush selection or you, you have a school day for Ranger School and you just gotta make sure you're good for those six pull ups, let me know, all right? I'm curious. Make sure you check out these other videos that I have posted here. Some of them are about Army schools to help you get better, and some of them are about fitness. Besides that, I gotta finish up my workout, and I'll see you on the next one.